actually, Richard Feynman, I think, said this so well. He, he is also the guy you know really got me into physics. Uh, some art friend said that oh, science kind of just is the party pooper. It kind of ruins the fun, right? When, when like you have a beautiful flower, says the artist, and then the scientist is going to deconstruct that into just a blob of quarks and electrons. And 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 Feynman just pushed back on that in such a beautiful way, which I think also can be used to push back and make you pre not feel guilty about falling in love. Mm -hmm. So so here's what Feynman basically said. He said to his friend, you know. Yeah, I can also, as a scientist, see that this is a beautiful flower. Thank you very much. Maybe I am i can't draw as good a painting as you because I'm not as talented an artist. But yeah, I can really see the beauty in it. And it just, it also looks beautiful to me. But in addition to that, Feynman said, as a scientist, I see even more beauty that the artist did not see, right? Suppose this is a, a flower on a, on a blossoming apple tree. You could say this tree has more beauty in it than just the, the colors and the fragrance. This tree is made of air, Feynman wrote. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite Feynman quotes ever. And it, it took the carbon out of the air and bound it in using the flaming heat of the sun, you know, to yeah. turn the air into a tree. And when you burn logs in your fireplace, it's really beautiful to think that this is being reversed. Now the tree is going, the wood is going back into air and in this flaming, beautiful dance of the fire that the artist can see is the flaming light of the sun mm -hmm. that was bound in to turn the air into tree. And then the ashes is, is the little residue that didn't come from the air that the tree sucked out of the ground. You know, Feynman said, these are beautiful things and science just adds, it doesn't subtract. And I, I feel exactly that way about love and about pistachio ice cream also. <laughs> I can understand that it and even there is even more nuance to the whole thing, yeah. right? At this very visceral level, you can fall in love just as much as someone who knows nothing about neuroscience. But you can also appreciate this even greater beauty uh, in it. It's just like, isn't it remarkable that it came about from from this completely lifeless universe, just a bunch of a hot blob of plasma expanding? Mm -hmm. And then over the eons, you know, gradually, first the strong nuclear force decided to combine quarks together into nuclei, and then the electric force bound in electrons and made atoms, and then they clustered from gravity, and you got planets and stars and this and that, and then natural selection came along, and, and the genes had their little thing, and you started getting what went from seeming like a completely pointless universe that was just trying to increase entropy and approach heat death into something that looked more goal-oriented. Mm -hmm. Isn't that kind of beautiful? And then this goal-orientedness through evolution got ever more sophisticated where you got ever more, and then you started getting this thing which is kind of like Deep Mind's um, Mu Zero on steroids, self, the ultimate self-play is not <laughs> yeah. what, what Deep Mind's AI does against itself to get better at Go. Mm -hmm. It's what all these little quirk blobs did against each other mm -hmm. in, the, in the game of, of survival of the fittest. You know, when you had really dumb bacteria living in a simple environment, there wasn't much incentive to get in, intelligent, but then the, the life made the environment more, more complex, and then there was more incentive to get even smarter, and and that gave the other organisms more of incentive to also get smarter. And then here we are now, just like like Mu Zero learned to become world master at at Go and chess from playing against itself by just playing against itself. All the quarks here on our planet <laughs> and electrons have created giraffes yeah. and elephants and humans and, and, and ice love. Cream. <laughs> I, I just find that really yeah. beautiful, and I, I to me that just adds to the enjoyment of of love. It doesn't subtract anything. 